Hi, in this short video we will look at the basic features of our new character rig Yulon. And first let's look at the folder if you have downloaded it. And here you will have texture folder with all the textures, Yulon picker, there is a files for picker, menu, we will need to install it, readme, I recommend to read it, Yulon rig and another readme file. So first let's create a reference or import it. I will create a reference. Just click Ctrl R in Maya, select the file. And also make sure that you are creating reference using namespaces because it's important for the picker. And here you see the, before the character, you see the namespace, that's the name of the file. If I will click Ctrl R, here you will see that use namespaces in the options. So use that option to create reference. And here's the rig, press six to see the textures. And here it is. You can also see that small window uh, with the download picker link. You can click on it to download the picker. Also download link is in the readme file. And let's see the picker. I have downloaded it, extracted it, and to install it, it's really easy. Just drag and drop it into viewport. But first make sure that you have active shelf that this picker will be installed because icons will be installed on the current current shelf. So drag and drop it here, click next, read the terms, accept it, click next, click install. It will install the picker and it will give you that message that it's finished. And here's the picker and it's empty because we have not yet imported it. I mean, uh, we have not imported the file of the character. So click on this icon go to open picker and here you need to go to the rig folder and go to picker folder and choose that file picker and the picker will be loaded my screen resolution is 4k that's why i have all those icons uh, smaller than usual than normal that you will have on the full hd monitor for example and this window might be smaller so you will need to scroll it or just stretch it and you will see the full window. And here you have picker for the body, picker for the face, and a small library of the facial expressions. And if you have not used the namespace when you imported or opened uh, the rig, just go here, set namespace, you will see this small window, stretch it, erase that name and click set. If you have not used the namespace, I have used it, uh, that's why I keep it. So we don't need to do anything. And if you will need to set the picker to any other namespace, just click on the any controller, uh, click get namespace, and it will get all the namespace. And after that, it will be working. So for me, it works by default because I have used namespaces while importing this model. So yeah, here it is. And let's look what we have here. And on the main controller, there are, of course, on every controller, there are standard channels like translator, data, and scale. But on some of the controllers, we have additional channels. And let's go through them. Here, for example, on the hands, like I'm selecting the main controller, but let's look at the hands. And uh, normally we have those three FK controllers, but we can enable additional controllers for, for the band, like this. Click. Uh, enter one and you will see those additional controllers here that will allow you to bend the arm. Uh, you can select the main controller once again and go here and enable secondary controls. That's even bigger, uh, bigger amount of controls to get the form of the hands or other objects the way you like it. Uh, let's select the main controller once again. Here we also can disable facial controls like here. Hide them. We can hide the shirt, we can hide pants, and we can hide also hair. There is no hair. There is. Okay, let's look what else we have here and let's go and look at the spine and hands. So, spine, what we can do here? Uh, there are some FK and IK controllers for the spine. So this one is more like of IK because it doesn't rotate the whole body. You can move it from side to side. And those red controllers, that's, that's the FK controllers for the spine. And you can select them here in the viewport. This one, you can select them here in the viewport or you can select them in the GUI picker. And let's see. Now is hands and head doesn't rotate together with the body because they are aligned with the global space. And we can switch that off. 
just go to any of the controller here and scroll it. Yeah, scroll down to the global, enter zero, and now it will be rotating together with the body. Same for the head. If you will select the head controller, switch off the global, and now we see that head is rotating together with the body. Okay, let's look at the custom menu and we need to install it first. So here's the rig folder, uh, drag and drop menu, mail file into the viewport and that's it. The custom menu installed and now you can click for example on the main controller here and reset it and it will reset the pose. Uh, let's select the main controller and enable facial control. So we will see what we are doing. And for example, here we have additional menu on the head controller we can select all the face controllers or the brows mount eyelids let's select eyelids and all the controls of the eyelids are selected and this additional right click menu not only selects things it also works with poses so we can set one hand like this and we can mirror that pose or flip flip that pose to other side right click on it choose flip and hands will switch the poses or right click on it, choose mirror and both hands will be in the same pose. Also, you can click on it and switch it from FK. Now it's FK. We will switch it to IK. And now all the hands is IK and you can control it using one controller only. Here, let's select it and let's move it. Also, let's look on another neat feature of this rig. It's dynamic parenting. And uh, let's um, move this hand here closer to the hips like this. And let's move the elbow out a bit. OK, and let's pretend that we need uh, this hand to rotate uh, together with the hips. So we'll have it like this. And I will select the hip controller and of course when I move it, it's, it doesn't move together. And we can apply a dynamic parenting. So for this we need to select the controller or object that we need to use as a parent. And then click on the hand, for example, on the hand IK or you can use, or use it on the leg IK. Uh, right click on it and in, this, in our special menu you can add uh, parent, the, uh, the selected object as a parent. So we will add it. It's there, but it's, it's still not working because we just added it and now we need to activate it. Again, right click on it, uh, select newly added parent and now it will work. It will move hand together with the hips. And you can use it not only with controllers, you can use it with any other objects. Let's delete it for now and let's move the hand for example here to the side let's rotate it a bit and let's create a cylinder or something like any object will do like this and we will move it up so it will stay closer here and again we will click on the controller while cylinder is selected we will click and add the dynamic parent and now we will select it p cylinder and as soon as cylinder will move it will move the hand again we can delete it now let's look at the legs i will select the leg controller uh, we have all the standard channels, of course, and we have stretch here. And stretch is enabled by default, but without the preservation of the volume. And you can enable it here, save volume, enable it, and it will squeeze, yeah, like this. Actually, it will affect the volume. I will disable it. We can also we have also like standard controls or channels for heal and pivot and foot roll etc. I recommend you to play with it and see it yourself. Now let's look at the eyes. We can control the iris and pupil. It's here on the eyes controller. This one. This one. Eyelids controlled by those bigger squares and also if you need an additional finer control you can use those small circles. Brows will be controlled using these middle squares, rounded squares. That's the middle brows, inside, outside. 
and all together you can move them using this bigger controller. As for nose, uh, again standard channels plus sneer channel to sneer the nose. Let's look at the mouth corners. You can not only move them or drag them to get the pose. Actually, let's let's rotate them. Let's open the mouth a bit and let's select the mouth corner again. And here, not only this, we can have a zip lip. Yeah, you can close it like this if you need it. And you can also adjust the wrinkle of the mouth corner. So it will be more pronounced or less pronounced. As for the lips, you can control them using those, those squares here. That's the main controllers for the lips. Let's look at it from the side like this. Yeah, rotate it, move it. And also more finer details will be achieved using those circles around the mouth. Additionally, you can control the form of the tooth and the, the thong. Uh, let's select it here in the picker and you can control it here. You can also select the thong. Let's rotate it. It all works. And for additional more cartoony effects, you can use those small controllers that actually will deform the head a bit. We'll squash it and stretch it on the top and on the bottom here, like this. Now let's apply uh, any facial expression here to have it ha to, to see how it works. And that's it. Have a great day and happy animating.